Okay, hello. There's going to be a tutorial on uh, Toy Story 3 DS, the dump skip. It is the hardest trick in the game. It's very, um, it's not very uh, reli reliable. It's um, a, yeah, so first, double jump here. That's a pretty simple double jump. Just make it over there. That skips a long section over there. But here comes the hard trick. Okay, so how I do it, there's many ways to do it. So how I do it is on this wall, there's one part where you're going this way horizontally. You're going like a an up left angle, or an up upright, sorry, an upright angle this way. And then there's another part of the wall where you're going the up left instead of upright. And in the middle of that wall, there's a little, you know, like a little jut. It juts out a little bit. And so, if you hit the right place on the wall, you can be running down left and just not be moving at all. And once you find that place, I like to start running left and just spam the jump button. And usually he'll start climbing the wall. Yeah, just press as fast as you can. Eventually you'll get real high. And when you get to about here on the wall, or here I fell down. Once you get to about here on the wall, and you get to a place where you're not jumping any higher, yeah, like up here when you're not jumping any higher, I like to start holding up, um, up left, and you'll get stuck like this. And so when you're stuck like that, I'm going to pause for a second so I can explain a little bit. So when you're stuck like that, doing the little thing, um, you should start holding left and do the ground pound move. I think that's pressing Y. Hold left and then do the ground pound move. So I'm going to do that up here, and then hold left and ground pound, and then hold um, up left again. Yeah, and then I like to move back and forth between up left and left, and then ground pound again, and you should make it right through the wall. So yeah, basically when you get to the top, you basically just want to be spamming left and up left, um, just alternating between those two as fast as you can, and ground pounding. And eventually you should make it through the wall. I'll do it one more time full speed. Yeah. Yeah, and if you're not pressing jump fast enough and you're not getting on the right, on the right frames, then he might fall down too far and you might need to start over. But yeah. Okay, once you get to the top. See, this is definitely high enough. So I'm starting to hold up left and then go down. Ground pound. Sometimes he'll do that, but just, just keep ground pounding and eventually make it to the wall. If you're spamming left and up left and um, and pressing ground pound, eventually I'll make it to the wall. You don't need to do the ground pounds, but I find that's the most um, reliable way of doing it. And here, you're going to, I don't know if it shows well in the video, but there's a teeny tiny little rock formation right here. You can kind of see it if you're actually playing it, but there's a tiny little rock formation there. You're going to want to get close to that, but not super close to it. See, over here, I'm... It's right, right here. You can't see it in the video, but it's right there. You don't want to get too close to it, but you want to get close enough to it. Once it's like there, it's about to go off screen. I like to hold kind of like up left and alternate. And you just want to make sure that you don't go in bounds. That, that part's not super... That one you just kind of have to figure it out for yourself. I'm not very good at explaining that because it's kind of just... You fail for it. But basically this next part, you just kind of have to be careful not to go back in bounds. And then, yeah. When you get over here, basically just hold up left, sometimes alternating up left and left, just so you can get in here. Sometimes the camera will move, but then you just have to move basically just left and up left. And when you go far enough, you'll be able to go right in here and go into cutscene. So thanks for watching. I think I'll do the um, an explanation for the next part too, just because why not? Why not just do another explanation? Because I'm probably make tutorials for the rest of the game anyways. So I'll just finish this off with uh, this part of it. So this part is much, much easier. This this jump is much easier. So usually the um, cycle at the very beginning makes it so you can just kind of go for it. But um, here, I'll, I'll just do the cycle right now. Basically what you're going to want to do is jump on the little dirt pile in the corner and then onto the, the little frame between the frame between the door and then jump on top of the little crusher things. And then you can get out of bounds. So I'll do that really quickly. But then if you miss the cycle, you're going to have to um, wait and know the timing. So I'll, I'll do both of those things.
So this should be the main cycle that you make. Is you just run over here, go into here, go into the dirt pile, jump on the frame. Oh shoot, okay. So I missed a cycle, you see that? Um, but yeah, once you make it onto here, if you miss a cycle, you're gonna want to wait till it's like at the top and it was up the top of the sec for a split second so you could jump on top of it. It's quite an easy jump. Like it's it's you really shouldn't be worried about it. And then yeah, sometimes you get stuck over there, but it's not that big of a deal. This this jump is really easy. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. If you have any more questions on it, just leave me in the comments or message me on the Toy Story Speed Learning Discord. And um, here you're gonna wanna wait till there's three openings in the wall like that. One opening. You're gonna wait till the third one, and on that third one, you're gonna jump into it. This takes a while. There's like a minute or so of just running. So yeah, you're gonna want to be running for a long time. It is kind of annoying, I will admit. There's a lot of running. There's a second one. This third one. There should be like a darker part of the wall right before the third opening, but really, it's just count three. If you're not paying attention, there should be a darker part of the wall right before the third third door. So if you lose count and you see the really dark part of the wall, then you know that the next one's the one that you want to jump into. So yeah, um, where is it? Oh, here it is. See, there's a dark part of the wall right there. You know that the door is coming up very soon. And see, here it is. And yeah, so now you're just going to want to jump over the pits. Be careful not to, you know, like, fall into them. And then here, there's going to be fire. It's invisible. You can just go right through it. And here, these are real, so you kind of do have to jump over those. And so here you have two choices of what to do. You can either tap all of them and then blow away the dirt dirt afterwards, or you can do both at the same time. It doesn't really matter. Um, doing both at the same time is harder, um, especially if you're on 3DS because the microphone is in an annoying spot and doesn't work very well. Um, but if you're on normal DS, I don't really know. Uh, I haven't run this game on DS, on normal DS. But uh, yeah, so here you can either... Tap all these things first, and then blow away the, the excess afterwards. Or you can do both at the same time, and it doesn't matter. Let's see, in there, it's gone. Yeah. And so now, you're going to want to go out here, and go basically down right. And go to the dot. And then you're done. Thanks for watching, and yeah. Uh, comment, or join the Toaster 3 Speedrunning Discord, and ask me there. I can answer any questions you have, and yeah, maybe I'll make some other tutorials for the other parts of the game later, but for right now, that's what I have. Thanks for watching, bye!